What's going on guys, Fighting Game Select here, and we are back with a special guest that I haven't got a chance to bring into the show, and I'm really glad to be able to, man. What's going on, Juna? What's up, Kizzy? Long time, no no talk, I guess, you know, since since yeah. the good old days, I guess since the good old days, we can't really mention, but it's great to be back, man. So what are we talking about yeah. today? Yeah, yeah, dude, really, really <laughs> good, man. We're going to go ahead and talk about the top six best Street Fighter players in Japan right now. Okay, so that, that that's why you got me, the, the expert here, number one fanboy, the Gok Gok legend. Mm -hmm. I want to kind of keep it fresh, so I'm going to go with Kakeru. I, I'm going to go with Kakeru. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so he, he, of course, you know, everybody has been following he busted on the scene and around like evo period you know early on a lot of people were saying he's the best in japan he's the best in japan and his results out in uh you know the middle east at evo and stuff he definitely proved it but recently i think japan's kind of caught up to jp a little bit because you have you got you say you have aqua you have all sorts of jp players just kind of dominating this country so they've gotten better at the matchup he hasn't gotten the same results as before but he's still a threat, and I want to see where he goes from here. He's still very young, right? He's still a new player. He's only got room to grow from here. So who you got? Who you got? Who you got? I got I got Kakeru there. My guy is uh, Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi, yeah. young blood, uh, right? So why, why? What yeah. do you think of him? He will do really good, mm -hmm. and then he will, like, there'll be times where he's, like, on a streak. Yep. And uh, But every single time I've watched him play, like, he never just gets, like, dominated. Yeah. Unless I'm missing some of these matches. Uh, and obviously, you know, Japan's like region is like really, really like high competition. So, you know, losing to like some of the best players out there, it's not really bad. Yeah. But I gotta say like out of all the players, he's he's pretty consistent. Yeah, that's that's I think what you said about not getting dominated. That That's what makes making this list so hard is that everyone is so good. Everybody is so good out here. Everybody's consistent. No one is ever like on a, a huge winning streak at all. So yeah, Yamaguchi is definitely up no. there. And what's so cool about these two is a lot of players here like Kakeru, Yamaguchi, they're players from five that kind of, they weren't at the top of their game, but you could see that like, they're gonna be good. They're gonna be good soon. And now with six, like they're really kind of shining right here. So what's up, what's up right. next, number hey, four? Got... All right, I'm gonna say number four. This might get some people angry. I'm gonna go with Tokido. Now, I think that's a bit low. That's a bit low for some people, but I put him at number four. I think it's it, it's not disrespect. It's just like the country is so strong, right? And Tokido is one of the most consistent players. I got to put an asterisk, though. So Tokido is number four now. But next year, when Akuma drops, that he's shooting up there. He's going to shoot up. He waited for Akuma? He's waiting. He's waiting. I mean, he's grinding right now, but... Ugh. I mean, he has a, he has a, I mean, he got a pretty strong character yeah. that he's waiting. Like, yeah. That he's using for waiting. Yeah, I know. He's got Ken, right? He, he's dominating with Ken. But you know Akuma's going to come out beat. He's got to be busted, right? It's just the lore. It's what Capcom right. has set. So, like, Akuma drops. Top one. Best Akuma player. It's it's going to be the Tokita era. Dude, he got artwork. He got artwork <laughs> before, before Ed. Yeah. New artwork before Ed. Yeah, before Where's Ed. Ed? I'm Where's like, Ed, oh, yeah. man? I'm just like, all right. It's clear that uh, this dude is going to be ridiculous. Like, internationally consistent. You know, uh, he just got second place at Street Fighter League last night. You know, top eight, top six at Evo. He's always winning. He's always doing well he hasn't got that huge dub yet though in street fighter 6 and he's not unfortunately he's not going to be at the uh the finals right yeah yeah, yeah. is he yeah. going to lcq though right? i'm i'm pretty sure he's going to lcq but yeah so we have uh he, he did not qualify from japan so he's going to have to do it the hard way that, that's rough man so my person that i would i was holding back this whole time this year number three definitely Fudo. yeah it's not Fudo. number three okay all right number three the dude was not that good Right, you know, he was playing Dawson, yeah, Dawson, and, he awesome. and, then, and then he had DJ on the side. Yeah. But then when he just gradually just kept playing DJ, mm -hmm. and like he started, like everything started like piecing together, mm -hmm. bro. His DJ was definitely the most like stable gameplay. I, I, bro, yeah, loved, loved his play style so much. Uh, and then he started dominating. But then, like, you know, Fudo kind of fell off a little bit. He didn't fall off. So that's the thing. He hasn't entered tournaments. Why is that? So he qualified, right? So I know in, in like, America, so if the players qualify, they keep entering tournaments. Just because, like, you know, it's competition. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But once Fudo qualified for Street Fighter, he stopped entering. Like, oh, so he doesn't even, like, he doesn't even, like, just play. Yeah, well, he, he plays and everything. Uh, Street Fighter League just happened last night. So he got second. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant earlier I said Tokido got second. Tokido won. I'm sorry. Tokido won Street Fighter League. Okay. Uh, Fudo okay. got second. Fudo's team got second. But Fudo was doing well in Street Fighter League. He's still very strong. It's just he's he's kind of keeping it on the on the on the down low right now. He could blow people up at, at the finals. I, I mean, I my money is on him to mm. be honest with you. 
I like who's better than Fudo. Like that, the Fudo's a beast. But yeah, who are you gonna put above Fudo? I've been watching Nemo, bro. Ooh. And you know, Nemo, you can never count yeah. Nemo out. Mm -hmm. Like you know, sometimes Nemo have those days where he's like really off. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And like we all know, uh, like oh man, here we go. Hey, like you know, Nemo's like he's tilted. But yeah. then like, yeah, but what, and I don't know about you, but the specific players that he like that he knows how to fight against, like. He looks like the best mm -hmm. player in Japan, mm -hmm. like right off the bat. Uh, the only reason why I put him up uh, above Fudo is personally for me, like I I'm willing to play the odds with Nemo mm -hmm. just because of who he is. Yep. What I love about Nemo too is like, he's a very kind of Western player. Like you look at, you look at something like Punk, you know, you, you can tell Punk plays with emotions. Like Punk is hot today. Like you, no one is beating Punk today. Like he's on fire. He's feeling himself. He's very, very confident. You don't see a player like, like uh, Tokido really do that, right? Tokido's always no. playing that that kind of like standard Tokido gameplay, which is very very hot. But he can never really get that that like emotion boost that you see like Punk get. Nemo can get that. He's a he's a very emotional yeah. player. But uh, the downside, of course, he can also turn it down sometimes. But when he's on fire, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he's on fire, he's very very he's very very on point. And like something really cool too is uh, JP. It might only be two months left, but he keeps developing in Japan. They work together. So for the Street Fighter League, like Aqua is a coach. He's like a JP player, but also a coach. The tech development. They're getting better and better and better and stronger and stronger. Like you say, JP just won Street Fighter League yesterday. So like Nemo's getting all that tech too. Can I drop top one? Yeah, drop it. You yeah, already, drop the I mean, drop. you already know. If you're watching, you already know what I'm gonna say, right? It's, it's it's it's. I ride or die for the strongest player, not in Japan, in the world. It's Lord Daigo. Daigo's top one. The Lord. It's Daigo. <laughs> it's Daigo. Now I know you guys are typing <laughs> in the comments right now. Oh, Junior, you're full of it. Listen, Daigo is not playing the right character right now he's he's being very very stubborn we saw this in five right street fighter five drop he picked ryu that first year he he got smoked year one he got smoked it was yeah, yeah, it was bro. it was almost like embarrassing and everyone's like yo go to guile go to guile bro, go to guile bro the best part the best part about that was that anybody could cook dark hey hey all right we don't like, gotta talk about dude, that that was a long dude, time we said <laughs> we said we said his ass to cancun he gets sent back <laughs> with l's bro hey it was a long it was a long time ago right so that's street fighter street yeah. fighter six he's got ken he's doing all right he was doing a lot better earlier on than he is right now although he, he just kind of went on a tear in the in the premiere but like if you watch how he plays ken he plays a very lame ken Right, a very very passive, very very lame can. Then you look at Angry Bird, right? Angry Bird, of course he can do whatever he play however he wants, but way more aggro. Like he's playing Ken the way you should play Ken. Daigo's right. trying to play like like Guile with Ken, but <laughs> with I'm, Ken, yeah. I'm telling you, he's gonna switch season two. And you guys, are, I want you to come back to this video right in the comments. But like Juno, we were sorry, you were right. He is the best player. He's being held back by the character choice. Yeah, you, you you think Ken just doesn't fit his style? I it might have you young Daigo, perhaps. Young Daigo was a bit more nutty, but I mean he played Guile for what five, five, six years straight? And against the highest competition of his whole career, right? Because, you know, players are getting better and better and better. So like he put all that time, all that effort in a very defensive play style. He's trying to do it in six. It's not that kind of game. Unless you got Guile. Look at Du. He's the Guile. Yeah. Now. He is the Guile. Japan has uh, yeah. Higuchi and, and Daikoku, but like they can't, like Dude just came out here uh, with Mena. They had the, you know, the international event and they just handled everybody. Dude, let me ask you this, man. Yeah. You think people say like when players get old, they, they become more washed. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they can't, they kind of get fine like wine and I feel like they mm -hmm. become more complete. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think Daigo will come back to that place where he's like dominant again? I... As being I, a fanboy enthusiast, as as a fanboy you know, enthusiast, I don't. So nobody in Street Fighter dominates for a long time. That's that's what in fighting games is, is really fun. But like everyone has their little like period, right? We were talking about Fudo, right? So he was dominating for like right. two three months straight. Uh, there was like the Punk arc in Street Fighter Five. There's the Tokido arc, right? There's all these arcs. I think Daigo will have his arc in six. But like I said, he's got it's it's not going to be with Ken. It has to be season two, huh? Yeah, season two could be season three, but he's gonna stick around. He's gonna keep competing, I'm pretty sure. And we're gonna see the Daigo art. Well, look, man, with that being said, man, it was a pleasure talking about this, man. I think this was like a great topic. I really had fun, man. And But where can they find you, Juna, man? I where mean, can they find you? You know, you know where I'm at, right? We're on YouTube, Anime Illuminati, Twitch, Anime Illuminati. If I'm around, you can find me in Daigo stream chat. I'm always in there posting up, cheering on the goat right there. But I, I want everybody, if you're watching this right now, 
Come back here, like I said, in, in a year or two. You'll see. Ch check check our picks. You'll see in a year or two. We know. Hey, we man, know. you heard that, man. <laughs> Come back next year, bro. Come back to this video right now. He predicted it, bro. This is future Rama Juna. <laughs> Leave in the comments what you guys feel. Who do you guys think is your top six best? And thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. Please leave a like and subscribe. And please let me know who you guys want me to bring on yeah. the show as well. Uh, do my absolute best to do so. And we'll be seeing you guys next time on the next episode. See you guys later. Peace.